Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? So I think our I think it's ready to go. Uh, hopefully it didn't warp on me or anything. I see. Uh, <laughs> uh, hopefully this thing will fit on here still. Uh, I see maybe just a little bit of problem here. I might have just smoked her a little too hard yesterday. And I got a little bit of warpage on it here, so... It's okay that way, but... Uh, she's a little higher in the center, so... Uh, hopefully it's okay, but I'm going to grab the uh, machine here. And... Uh, Set her down on top without kind of scratching her up too much. Oh, I just need to get this kind of mounted so I know uh, roughly where to. Oh no, I'm stuck. Roughly, roughly where to mount it uh, to the wall. It's sitting very level there. Or not to the wall, to the floor, sorry. So we'll get her hopefully in the right spot here. Get some bolts in it. I got some bolts, I got some, some lock washers and some nuts. Hopefully I've got enough room on this bolt for everything. I should. Leave them loose right now. Oh. Oh. My other bolts. My other bolts are here. Uh, so, I think we got all the hardware we need. As long as everything is going to line up where we want. I mean, it did yesterday, so I don't see why it shouldn't today, but, uh, stranger things have happened, right? Stranger things happen. Shouldn't really beat on that with cast like that, but, uh, really... One washer that doesn't want to fit. Hmm. Isn't that funny? I think everything's going to be good. Yup. Okay, let's get some nuts. And some lock washers going here. Flat washers on the bottom too. I guess I might as well secure this down now. Um, I don't see kind of why. Why not? It's going to be pretty top heavy all right now. Until we get her secured to the floor. Drop them. All right, so we'll just wrench her down tight here. And these are not a these are probably a grade five bolt I'm using. That should be should be lots. Guess I could have brought some sockets too, but. <clears throat> Ratchet wrench would have been nice, but that's all right. Get 
that secured to the floor and hopefully she's a little more secure. <laughs> Is looking pretty good though. She should work pretty nice. Uh. Washers are just a little bit too big for there, but. Uh... Pretty tall. I should have maybe cut a little more off. Maybe three or like, what are you three inches? I think off. And I should have probably cut four off. But oh, geez, I think she'll work. Said I wanted her fairly high up, so I guess that's what we got. Fairly, fairly high up. So let's uh, wiggle her over into position here, and uh, we'll see where we're gonna finally mount this thing. Should be able to walk it. Ooh, she's top heavy. <laughs> things. I might need longer uh, leg uh, pinch bolt thingies for the front here. Hang on, I'm just going to throw these washers under here. Just because of the difference in the floor here, I don't know what happened to the floor here, but she's definitely a little bit lower, a little bit lower, so somewhere in about there will probably be its landing position, sort of, well, uh, mm -hmm. I guess I could go towards the driller a little more and give me a little more room for here, because now I'm limited myself to how far that door will open. I can't really put this over much more that way because I have to have room for my hose to go in that side for the vacuum system so I'll move her over here maybe a little more maybe kind of line it up with the, uh, the the blocks here I guess. Well that's the only spot I got. I'm not too bad on the door here now. I think I can pretty much get anything that'll fit in there in there now. It's you know not opening wide full, but I'm, I'm touching a little bit. But I, I think that, you know, as much huge stuff as I can put in there, I think that should be a lot. So I think what my plan will be is uh, break that floor up from this corner over here. That's sagged, re-pour it. Kind of in there, it's kind of hard to see. Report and uh, put it kind of over here or something eventually, but for now, I guess that'll be all right right there. It's very hard to mark the spot <laughs> down there with uh, the back one, it was worked pretty good because I used my marker. And this part here went down, marked the floor, but I can't get it down on the front because it's so, it drops so much there. I have no idea why the floor has done that. It's like it's a separate piece. This little kind of comes along here, and then there's like this separate piece. I don't, I don't understand why. Another weird thing is under my bench, way over here, back way underneath, way underneath. There's a great big empty area with nothing. There's like not even there's a board covering a hole in the floor. So, uh, I hopefully have marked enough there. I've got. It's not a very good masonry build, drill bit, but uh, if I have to, I can get my uh, my big SDS Max out, which, you know what, I might end up doing anyway. So I'm going to have to move this thing off 
anyways, now just to see um, if I can see where all the marks are. Uh, and the back ones should be fine, but the front ones, I just kind of used my little marking guy, this thing, and it's sort of put a mark on the floor there, but I'll mark it with the black marker after so I can see it. But uh, we'll have to move this off, drill some holes. Hopefully they all go in the, in the right spot or I'm screwed. I don't know what I'm going to do then. Uh, <laughs> glue it to the floor maybe with something I, I don't know some 16 year epoxy maybe might work I don't know but let's move her out I just had her fired up here just to see uh, you know how she looked and stuff and even here it's there's no vibration at all I don't feel anything so it's super awesome now you're not grinding yet mind you but this has to be secured to the floor so when you're pushing on your project it's pretty tippy right so should be secured down so uh, we'll unplug her here again pull her out of the way and see if I can see those marks in the front I sure hope I can because I don't really want to have to line it up again but it might be a good idea to maybe just uh, do a mark on the floor like that so if I screw up or something I can just kind of line her Liner back up. I think that's really hard on the marker. Rubbing that, uh, that kind of crap. But okay, you gonna stop spinning yet? Are you stopping? Spinning? Stopping? Stopping? Okay. Let's uh, wiggle her out. I forgot to unplug it. Of course. Okay, we're good now. And boy oh boy, I can just see those little marks. <laughs> so I will uh, put a black daub there. A black daub right there. And that's where I have to drill and I hope there's I hope there's no uh, rebar <laughs> in the floor here. So I've got uh, four marks. Uh, boy, that floor is sure uneven there. Got four marks. You can see one, two, three, and four. So, should I just use my little Milwaukee, my Milwaukee, or my Bosch SDS Max? The big Bosch is a, kind of a little overkill, but it would definitely mow through that pretty quick. Maybe I'll use the big guy. All right, let's get out the big dog. You guys seen this tool a couple weeks ago there, a week or whatever it was ago there when we uh, did our test drilling. I do have a half inch bit for it. This is definitely overkill. And I just hope that this doesn't stretch the hole out too much. Uh, or I'll have to figure out some, some other way to secure this because these things, they're, uh, I don't know if I can show you there, but they're, Pretty darn close to the same, minus your sleeve there, but uh, anyways, uh, let's... Uh. Uh. Oh, come on, really? It's going to be difficult. It should just slap in. Uh. Okay, hang on a sec. This thing should just slap in here. Without pulling the, there we go. Without pulling the collar down. The collar just to release it. Okay, a little overkill. But, um... Now, I only have to drill down a little bit too. I don't have to go too far. Where are you looking here? Over here. Um, I've only really got to drill... Three inches there, maybe. Should probably put a piece of tape or something on that, which I guess I could. But uh, see how good we are. I don't know. I, I'm. I've drilled holes. Okay, I've drilled a lot of holes in my drilling career. But these things are really tricky because if you don't get the hole straight. 
So the hole it should be, say this is the ground, if you don't get her straight, it'll be like this a bit or, you know, off a bit, and then it'll never line up with my thing. I was kind of thinking of just using tap cons, big, big tap cons, but I kind of wonder about the strength of them, so I don't know. Um, this might be even be better to have that piece of floor cut out, it's out of alignment anyways, and uh, report and then stick that thing in when it's drying, then she'll be solid, you know, and it'll harden right in the cement. But uh, I'm going to try drilling. If I screw it up, then maybe that's what I'll have to do, because that whole piece there is screwed anyways. I don't know why it's so far off, but... I also really don't know how thick this floor is, so I never drilled anything into this floor. It might be 10 feet thick, it might be 4 inches thick, it might be 2 inches thick, I don't know. So let's fire up here. We'll drill a couple, a few holes. Yeah, this shouldn't be long eating through this stuff. It's a pretty awesome drill. And I better get some safety gurgles. Hopefully this goes all right here. That might be deep enough already. <laughs> I'm just thinking that these aren't going to line up for me. I don't know. I have not a good feeling here. how we are for depth and I guess pound these things in and hopefully uh, we're good. too deep with one of them there and this is going to end up getting screwed it's going to sink in too far i bet so that's going to suck <laughs> it's that one that i need to work better just check the depth of these i guess now one of them i think it was this one went right through but That's right up to the screwdriver. That should be lots, lots. That one actually might be able to use a bit more. Lots and lots. Jeez, I might have put too much in. Uh oh. That's not good. It's not very deep. <laughs> Maybe two inch floor here, and that's it. this or not. See what you're supposed to do is put these down in and hammer them. But I oh 
I just had a thought. I'm not going to have enough thread on these. These aren't going to work anyways. That's not going to work. Um, what's going to happen here is I'm going to put these in. I still have to have a half inch of thread underneath this nut. Which I don't have with those. There isn't really a whole lot you can put underneath these things if you know what I mean. Like, I just thought of that. Oh, that's not good. Well, how else am I going to secure this thing here? I'm thinking Tapcons. That's the only thing I'm thinking of, but I don't know if they're wicked super strong. Uh, that, I never thought of that. See what's, I'll show you what's going to happen here. These aren't going to work now that I think about it. So what happens here is when you start to tighten this nut down, of course that thing flares out, right? Right up there will be getting tight in the hole. I also have to put a half inch plate under this nut and on top of this washer. <laughs> There's not room for a half inch plate there and the nut. So I would need like one of these one of these studded pieces like this much longer with threads that's not gonna work well doesn't that just suck because I don't think no that's not still not gonna work so that's not gonna work <laughs> I'll have to think of something else I guess all right, I'm not having a lot of fun with this, but like I said, of course, my holes weren't right on, so I uh, had to hog out the backs a little. But uh, I think we're, I think we're okay now. Uh, I got one more bolt somewhere, a little guy here, I guess. Yeah, I think that'll work now. I just had to enlarge them a little bit. I was, I was out of hair. I should have used this as a template, but I didn't want to drill through the plate you know so uh, I went and got some different kind of anchors these are of course a sleeve anchor okay sleeve I got some other ones here that are a little longer and they're called a wedge anchor a little different same idea though and I got these quite a bit longer so I don't know if I have to do these first or at least we'll just go down no it's not gonna fit quite in there so uh, <laughs> Okay, I'm a little worried about this because I didn't hog out the front ones too much. The back ones were just out a bit. But I really don't want to stick this down through and then have to thread it on the top. These ones in the back should go. I think you'll have to, we have to hammer these in, bang, bang, bang. But uh, the front ones. I guess I could hog that out just a little more and then they would fit right through and then I wouldn't have to worry about trying to hold this thing and then threading it down on top. Maybe I'll do that. This thing works wicked awesome fast. That'll work. Change a little bit. room. Yeah, that'll work. Now, are they going to hold this floor? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I 
I do not know if this is going to work. But, we'll have to give her a shot here, I guess. Gotta watch I don't punch him in too far. Loosely. To start. And I got them super extra long. Just in case. <laughs> I needed the extra length for if I drilled them a bit too deep, maybe. truth, I guess. Uh, what the heck size of wrench am I going to need for that? I don't know. Get ready to go look. Of course, it's a metric. <laughs> Figures. Okay, so moment of truth. Well, that one went in good. Definitely getting tight. Well, that's good. And then you can cut the rest of these uh, treads off of here if you wanted to. Really want to get the back secured here. Now these kind of anchors are for poured concrete only. You can't use these in a wall apparently. So uh, the other ones you could use in a wall though. Probably why I had some of those still. I had a ratchet wrench. I have a 19 ratchet wrench though. Tighten up pretty good. I think she's going to be fairly solid. Hopefully. Oh, there they go. Finally all done and mounted. Ready to rock. Let's give her a little test fire here. There they go like that. Should be good. Now there's a couple other things I gotta install on the front here is the, uh, there's some plastic shields that come with it. Um, I'll probably install those. Sometimes I know I've seen grinders before where they uh, the little plastic shields get all on the sparks. I guess they get all covered and you can't really see through them. So 
I'm kind of planning on using one of, oh, I got one somewhere, a full face shield. Huh. I don't generally use it too much because it's kind of a pain in the rear end, but uh, I might have to buy myself an R1. But anyways, uh, I just want to give her a little test here, see how, how it's working. Um, I guess I'll put you guys maybe over by the toolbox here. All right, so I just have to do a little bit of grinding on uh, this one plate for this bucket that we started working on the other day, and we got, of course, a little sidetracked with this project, but uh, it's okay. I think we're all good now. She feels pretty darn solid there. I don't think she's going to move, so let me just find the plate. I'll grab some gloves. I, of course, don't have my full face shield. I think I'll have to get a new one. I think I needed a new one anyways, because I used to use it for my outdoor sand blaster. So, this is pretty high. Might have been alright a little lower, but uh, I guess she'll have to work. Goes. Give me a sec, I'll throw it on here. Okay, I, I'm probably just going to use safety glasses with this. This is kind of dumb. They don't even, it's not even the same thing on here as it is on the, the manual. It's totally different. They have these like, these great big army looking things up. It's hard to show you, but coming, coming up for like there, there's one there. That's not what I've got here at all. So this is kind of stupid because this thing mounts here. But then you got this great big huge gap where stuff's going to be flying out and hitting you. Like, that seems kind of dumb. And then if you can, uh, you know, adjust this thing down, but then you're down so low you can't get your workpiece in there. <laughs> that's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. And that's how it's got to mount. It mounts with the bolt through here and then the little locker kind of pin there. So that just, you wouldn't have it up like this, would you? Like, that seems st stupid. Like, it should be way back here more, and, you know, kind of like right here. Not like way out front here, so I'm I'm just going to take these off and leave them in a box. Just use a good safety shield, I think. That's just silly. All right, well, she worked pretty good. Uh, that's a cool one. That's the one I was matching to. I got it pretty much all good all the way around now. They, they're pretty much identical, so I wish I had a laser cutter or a CNC cutter thing, you know, just done. You know, I wouldn't have to do all this grinding and crap, but uh, I think it should work pretty good. So, yeah, this should, uh, this should be the left side, yeah. This is, uh, quite warm yet, so I just have to be careful. Not too bad here, though. And the right side. Uh, something like that. I think that looks pretty good. Now, I don't want to weld these together yet because I want to actually sandblast them. Get all the crap off and stuff, make them look a little better. That uh, will kind of be nicer when I'm painting and priming it and stuff. It'll, it'll help a bit, so. But uh, anyways, we'll finish that off maybe tomorrow. We'll do some more work on this. Uh, I don't know whether I'm going to do any contour. If you know what I mean, like most buckets they have like a, a swoop. This one has a little bit of a, a swoop to it instead of being straight across. I don't know. I, they say it fills better, but I, I think, I don't know, I think it holds more. <laughs> it doesn't spill out the sides on as much. I've kind of always built mine. You know, even this one has... Uh, 
the factory Kubota bucket has a little swoop thing there. I guess I could do swoops on the uh, on the side plates, but I think the bucket itself is going to stay square. That one side plates are square. The big 24 inch we built, the side plates were square. Yeah, I don't know. I think I might just leave her square. Uh, I don't. I don't think it really has to have that dip to it. It just kind of makes it look nice, right? More of an aesthetic thing. But uh, me myself, I mean, pfft, I'm I'm good with square. The dirt's not going to care. That's for sure. So that'll be kind of roughly our cutting edge, and I'll make bigger side plates that come down and then meet that to scale. Now, this might have to be thicker material. I don't know what though yet. I think I used uh, half inch stuff. Yeah, that's what I used on this guy. I used half inch piece of stuff, pretty thicker, thicker stuff, you know. I'm pretty sure I can find something <laughs> in my stockpile. I would just have to look around. That's actually probably what I used there. Well, that stuff's a bit wider. Let me look in my, in my grocery store here. Well, I'm not sure if I cut my own stuff or what. I all, all I could find is I think this is 4 inch. A little bit heavy, but um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I can't remember now what I used on that little bucket. Driving me nuts. Well, that's all I could come up with. That looks like maybe quarter inch by uh, three inch. I got this piece here that's half inch. Uh, looks like I cut it into something, but it's uh, like three and three eighths, so it's a little bit too big. Then all I got is this stuff, so we may have to uh, slice a, an edge off of this, make her three inch or whatever it ends up working out to on the bucket here. I'm not really 100% sure yet what it's going to work out to yet, so we've got stuff here that will work. But uh, I kind of don't want to go too much thinner than half inch for the actual cutting edge. I'd be afraid of it getting kind of warped or... Uh, pulled and stretched or something. The machine puts out a pretty good little chunk of dig force there, you know, and I want it to be fairly strong, so I just think quarter's a bit too skinny. Anywho, that's it for me today. Those uh, wedgie anchor, not wedgie anchors, uh, yeah, wedge anchors. Sleeve anchors are the other ones. Wedge anchors actually work pretty good. Um, I've never used that kind before. I've always used the other ones. But, uh, I mean, either or, but uh, those ones just, uh, the wedges just weren't long enough to uh, accommodate my half inch plate. And I never thought of it that after. I'm like, oh, that thread needs to be like another three quarter inch longer to get the plate and the nut on, if not an inch longer. So, that's all right. Didn't quite work. Um, but, uh, the other ones work good. I was happy with that. So,. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that's it for today. We'll do some more work maybe on the bucket tomorrow, all depending on kind of what's going on outside. Things are heating up outside, we'll say. <laughs> and I'm going to have to do some uh, some outdoor cleaning up here soon, so I'll be uh, kind of shafted with my uh, shop time then. So, But anyways, that's all right. It's all part of my job, and uh, i got to get out of here soon. So. Uh, but anyways, for today, thanks again for watching. Have a good day, and we will catch you tomorrow.